episode of Drop the Puck. We are getting Puck ready to rank our three favorite Devils players, and let's get started with the man, the myth, but not quite the legend, Jordan. Oh. Mm, I don't quite know yet. Can someone else go first? I'll go first. Fine, Jacob. All right. So, I'm going to give two honorable mentions first. Uh, my okay. number uh, five and four are Kyle Palmieri and Travis Sajak. But now... Starting off with number three, Nikita Gusev. In one season with the Devils, Gusev has become one of our best players. And the way he's, he sees the ice so well, is such a good playmaker, and, and has a really good un- shot that he does not use enough. Um, part of the reason that I have him not higher is because he's only been on the team for one year. And I kind of want to see more of him because, you know, only like 65-ish games because he did miss some games. And um, he did also have a slowish, a slowish start to the year. Remember, he was a healthy scratch for three games in a row. My number two is Nico Hishier. And, I mean, especially this year and when Nico Hishier went on that run, like in the middle part of this uh, chunk of the season, that really bumped up his stock on my favorite players list. Um, I, I mean, the way he's, so, I see myself as a two-way forward and he is, I mean, as, as my playing style, he's like a, I'm trying to explain this. He's like a role model for my playing style. Do you understand? Just to be clear though, well, I understand, but just to be clear though, he plays for the New Jersey Devils of the NHL. You play Sushel. Yes. <laughs> Sushel is floor hockey for those of you who don't know. It's rock floor hockey. And now for my uh, number one player, the guy who I have on the back of this jersey that I got signed, Jesper Bratt. I mean, his skate, the way he moves, the way he skates is insane. He's so good in corners and on edges. The way he, he, he sees the ice so well, his playmaking ability is, is, is insane. And he has, also has a really good underrated shot. So, all right. Ryan, right, would you like I, to go next? Or would Jordan I'd like go to next? go. All right, Jordan. Sorry, Jordan. Oh, okay. I'm up. You turned down your opportunity. Fine. So I'm going to do the Devil's Arena announcer type of thing. My no, please. No, 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 no. You try that once. We're not going to do that. No. No. All right. No. Are no. you going to do two honorable mentions? Um. Yeah, I guess I'll do my honorable mentions. Jesper Bratt, because his last name is cool. And Matt Tennyson, because he likes tennis. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I made that up. My third favorite devil right now is currently Jack Hughes. But I have a good explanation for that. He's a rookie who's underrated and has a bright future to turn this team around. My second favorite player, the goalie, the legend, the myth, the man, who, in my opinion, is going to be better than Martin Brodeur and Corey Schneider in his prime combined. Mackenzie Blackwood. He's been playing so well recently and has turned a team that deserves to be winless in 82 games into a close-to-hockey 500 team at the quarantine break. And then, my first favorite player on the New Jersey Devils, Kyle Palmieri. Mm -hmm. He is the true leader himself and is underrated and has stepped up since Taylor Hall deservedly left the Devils. Thank you. Okay. Uh, actually, I saw, hold on, before you go, Jordan, I saw something, there's an advanced stat that a lot of people use, which is um, GAR, or goals above, like, rated, or, like, or like basically just goals above, above expected. And, uh, and, and Kyle Plum, and I saw someone combine, like, that, with like EA ratings, and if that's if and if they and if you go EA ratings by advanced stats, Kyle Palmieri it would be like a, con- a consistent eighty eight plus overall. That's how good nice. he's been. That's how good he's been for the Devils. Agreed. Um, but one more player I just want to touch on, 
Steven Santini, I miss you every day. Let go. Let go. <laughs> We should have never traded you. And I'm not even kidding. We should have never traded you. Jacob, was that trade a mistake? Uh, it depends how Subban does next year. Fair. Can fair. I, may I? All right. May I? Jordan. No. Jordan, you are up. Thank take you. the take the take the mic. All right. My two honorable mentions are uh, PK Subban and Nico Heischer. Okay. Uh, I wait, just wait, wanted wait, to wait, wait, wait. Why PK? Just give me because, a second. Okay, he's not he's not good anymore, but like you gotta he's respect to his personality. He's like he's like Yeah, he, have you seen nice. his game show? Yeah, he's pretty cool. PK He's a good person. overall person. Yeah, he's a good person. Uh well my third favorite player is uh Mac Black, Mackenzie Blackwood, because uh people tried to put him down, including me, in the beginning of the season. I thought he was gonna be a career backup. But he proved all of us wrong by uh, being one of be, by being a great goaltender, and hopefully, if we can put the pieces around him, he'll be good. Um, my second favorite player is Kyle Palmieri for the same reasons Ryan said. He's going to be the next captain, obviously. Oh, okay, and not obviously. Up. If they can lock him up to like a five or six year extension, then I think he'll be the next captain. If not, it's either going to Nico or Hughes. Nico, Nico's not meant to be a captain. I'm sorry. Uh, he and it's got to be Paul Mary. It's got to be Paul Mary. On the internet and uh, they will say that Nico is meant to be the next captain. Okay, okay. Connor David was named captain in his second season. You got to name the players that will be good for you in the future for years to come who to be the captain. Jacob, every team is different. I refuse to agree that the Edmonton Oilers, a team all the way up in Edmonton, Canada, deserve to be compared to the New Jersey Devils, considering the fact the that Connor McDavid, Connor McDavid, Connor McDavid is three times better than any other skater the Devils will ever have. Oh, yeah. Jack Hughes is way worse than Connor McDavid. Let's make know. that clear right now. But still, you want to have your... We don't know yet, but we can predict very heavily. Yeah. Anyway, but, um, so my favorite player, and just... Don't even talk about it. Don't don't even fight me on this, Andy Green. I mean, he's not on the Devils, but shut up. He's Andy Green. I Andy Green was the was he like was the, the most consistent defensive player that we've had this decade, and, and that's saying something because and, we and, and, have a and terrible a defense. Shot, I will say he was a shot blocking machine. He just ate shots for days. He, Let me oh also say he, one was, thing. he was our most consistent defender this decade. He was yes. a captain. He was a leader. He was awesome. And I was sad when we traded him. But, and, and yeah, sorry. And sorry. also, let, let me say one more thing. I do have to agree. Andy Green is underrated. He sports, who does a very good job with rating NHL players and putting them into video games. Thank you very much, not. That. What? I've gone th- I'm, I'm in the process of going through every single team. They have so many ratings. They're so wrong. Okay. But they gave Andy Green a 79 overall. That is a travesty. That's, that, that is just, that is not true at all. In he his prime, up. he was at least an 85. Yeah. No, he, he, stood was, up. You go back. he was a good leader. And guys, he is old. He's getting to the age of Lovejoy. And he is a really, really, really good leader. A very, very good fighter. He is very consistent. He is underrated and gets along with the coaches. He is that person that is able to keep the players in communication with the coaches. So he, he is the true captain. You, you brought up Lovejoy. I'm just going to say something. Ben Lovejoy was like, people hated on him. But he was actually a pretty solid defensive defenseman. I felt nothing for him at all. I thought he was useless and never should have been on the Devils in the first place. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, Andy Green is so consistent, and in his prime, I think he should have been 85. And he's so consistent that now, I mean, before we traded him, he should have been like, I don't know, like 82 or whatever, just because of the age. Because he's so consistent. I put him at 80. I agree. I put him at 81, actually. Because, because, uh, like, I put his his offensive stats, I didn't put as that high, but I put, like, his stick checking at, like, 88, his shot blocking, I put it at, like, 95. And I put, like, his defensive awareness at, like, 86 or 87. And, guys, guys, that reminds me. We should do a video in the future. And please put in the comments below if you want to see this. We have to rank the overall of every devil that played for the devils this season. That's not a bad idea. 
I think it's a good idea. Okay, Put yeah, it in yeah. the comments if you think it's a good idea. Not only that, I think it'll be a very, very fun thing to do considering quarantine has bored us. Okay, guys, let's move on. There's one thing I'd like to talk about. What do you guys think is the future of Corey Schneider with the Devils? Out. Done. Um, no more. How? You have to think about the contract. If, if, if you a, get yeah. a compliance... You're not if just going to buy him out. No, well, okay, so if they do end up giving teams compliance buyouts, which is just a regular buyout, except it doesn't count against the cap, then Corey Schneider is gone. If not, if they, yeah. if they don't give teams compliance buyouts, then I think he stays for one more year, and then they, and then they like, give Seattle something to take him in the expansion draft. Oh, yeah, that's true, expansion draft. Absolutely. Yeah, but he's done in New Jersey. Seattle, Seattle needs to get up to the cap, so if they want to like, take on Corey Schneider as like a project, and for like a for with because he'll have one year left on his contract. I think he he's going to stay in the organization next year, but like for in the following year, uh, I, after next season, I think he'll probably get taken in the expansion. And when did you say his contract expires again? Not after next season, but after the following one. So two more seasons. Oh. He's a player I definitely won't miss. I'll put that out right now. Oh. Come no no no! You gotta respect what he did for New Jersey. I mean, yeah, his he, confidence is shot now, and he's injured, uh, and he's old. The years, but the years you gotta respect got what he did. Jordan, yeah, no, he, the years he stood up and got his name out, it really became a good goalie. Where the years where the Devils were hopeless. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, he led us through the dark ages. Do you, do you know he? And I, then when we needed him the most, he disappeared, and we had to rely on who I do because respect, he got injured because we overworked him so much. Player, Mackenzie Blackwood. No, 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 no. He's not the one that's at fault for his bad play right now. John Hines is the one at fault. He overplayed no, him. No, no, John Hines was a good coach. He just had a bad season this year, and it was oh my time goodness. for him to pay the Ryan, price. Ryan, are we really talking about this? Coach. He's a terrible he coach. He brought a hopeless team to the first round of the playoffs and actually won a game against the Lightning. No, Taylor Hall, uh, Taylor Hall put the team on his back, and we got to the playoffs. Back me up. Oh, you know what? Who coached Taylor Hall? Players don't just magically become good. John Hall. Yes, they do. Taylor Hall is, was that good, but he got injured. Ryan, and stuff Taylor, Hall, Taylor Hall and Keith and Kate carry us to the playoffs. It was not, yeah, John it was Hines not is just a yes, terrible but coach. What I'm saying, I don't disagree with that. I'm just saying, John Hines definitely helped with his coaching. And not only no, that. they succeeded in spite of him. Corey that Schneider in his prime. Listen, Mackenzie Blackwood did a good job, and I applaud him, and I love him, and I wish he was back on the Devils. But I think that Schneider in his prime – Sorry, sorry. Just pretend I said Kincaid for all that sentence. You think Kincaid's like your favorite player? Why would you mistake him for Blackwood? And also, also, John oh, wait, Hines was well. a terrible coach. He over he he did not even he did not know how to manage a team. He the he team whatever success the team came into was in game. spite of him. Let me just say something. I never I, listen, I I um, like, I don't love, like, Kincaid to the point where he's my favorite goalie. He's not even in the NHL anymore. I just respect the hell out of him because he did such a good job bringing a team that didn't deserve to be in the playoffs into the playoffs with only no, one solid that. player. One player can't lead a team, Jordan. He did. No, he did not. Yes. I mean, no, Hall he did not. That team. Andy yes. Green. Andy Green did a good job bringing the team back on his feet. Jesper Bratt was an exceptionally good player and proved that he is better than a fifth-round draft pick. A lot Sixth more round. happened this year than you think. You're Sixth just not round. looking back on it correctly. Um, I think you're not looking back on it correctly. Even though the Devils did have a lot of really good contributors, Miles Wood scored 19 goals that year. He might not ever reach that total again. Nico Heischer had a really good rookie season. Kyle Palmieri... Nah, nah, nah. No, he sure did not have a... He sure should have done better. Same thing as Hughes, but Are you it's kidding okay me? because it was only he the rookie had year. Twenty for goals and fifty-two points. That's a pretty darn good rookie season. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I'd say so. I like Jesper Bratt better. I'm gonna let Jacob back me up on this one. I'm just gonna take a seat. Okay, watch. so so uh, N- Nico Heischer was consistently good throughout the entire year. Throughout the first half of the season, I would say Bratt was better, but. Definitely. But, Not but even in really question. Cooled down to the point where he was at healthy scratch for like three or four games in a row at the end of the season. Brat, I remember. He did not have a good end to the year. 
okay, I think he was a better player than he shared that year. Just my opinion. And 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 even though the Devils have, did have lots of good contributors, I think a lot of that reason was because of Taylor Hall. I think there's a ghost behind me. My door just shut and there was nobody there. That was really weird. That happens anyway, to me sometimes. Yeah, moving on, guys. I think it's time we wrap up the show. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please leave in the comments down below if you think it's a good idea for us to do player ratings. But in honesty, I really don't care because we're doing it anyway. So, thank you so much for watching, guys, and peace out. Any last words? Nope. Bye. All right. See you next week.